was absolutely amazing, and I'm going to stop there until I just keep on going. So, <laughs> your movement practices. Um, you guys must do something without your props first in order to interact in that way. You guys didn't, you weren't looking at each other that entire time. Uh, what, what can I... Thank Sorry. you, Julia. Okay, keep going here. What can, what can you tell us? It's a lot different when you first... <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, we do um, do a lot of blocking, especially for something that's as carefully choreographed as that, without our poi. When we're just like hanging around and we're like, oh, let's go that part. It's actually pretty much just as easy and very much a good exercise to do it without our toys because the first of all, the motion is so ingrained, and second of all, it's so much more about our bodies than the poi. Um, by this point, like just for the experience of actually doing it. Um, so for this act, definitely, um, we did lots of practice both without our poi, um, just to get a consciousness of where the other person is. That's a very important <laughs> part. Um, <laughs> Are there any particulars of that that you might be able to share with us? Yeah, one thing we had actually a lot of fun doing just this weekend is really mapping our walking and our steps. Uh, we just worked a lot on just the stepping and having that timing down exactly right. <laughs> yeah, you don't need point for that. Great, thank you. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> um, so th this is the thing that jumped out the most to me watching that. Like, seeing partner weaves is amazing. Seeing people enter them blind. <laughs> and not just doing it once, but doing it again and again and again. I kept being all like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> now, clearly to do that, your timing has to be dead the hell on. How did you guys work to ensure that your timing was that perfect for all those entries? We hit each other a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the question cannot be longer than the answer. Come on. Yeah. Um, more generally speaking, um, that is something that we've worked on a lot, I'd say. Um, it's been very much a goal of ours to be able to completely read each other's body motion um, and do stuff blind like that. Um, Speaking of that, one of our uh, big practice thing that we've been doing is actually um, blindfolded partner play, which is a huge, um, it really forces you to concentrate on the motion of the other person through what you can feel and not on your sight and not on looking at the boy, um, which has actually been hugely beneficial to us, I think, and really helped us get that down in general. And then just for this act, like, a lot of practice. <laughs> yeah. What a great tip, thank you. Thank you. So I'd like to take it in a, a small different direction. I haven't worked in troops before. One of the challenges that often comes in is people's actually just different <coughs> practice styles and how much you want to practice, the times you like to practice, how you like to practice. Did you guys run into any of those kind of things and what kind of things did you do or would you recommend looking back on it, you would tell yourself a year ago, hey, try this. <laughs> well, for this act, um, we do, in general, have very, very different ways of thinking about poi, which has been kind of a challenge that's needed to be <laughs> worked around and led to a lot of insights, actually. Um, for practice, this act was a little bit unusual because we had a bit of a pressure date. We had to choreograph and perform the entire thing in a month. So we're basically just doing it all the time. Um, <laughs> ourselves to really just, <laughs> yeah, just drill concrete sections because some days, you know, neither of us wanted to work on certain things, but we needed to work on things, so you just agree on that beforehand and then what happened. <laughs> I think um, in general, a message like that, I would, like, because thinking it back, like, telling myself things in the future, like you said, um, I think a good general message is to allow yourself to be open for inspiration and like insight from something that might seem conflicting. So if you have different ideas than someone else on something, you might argue about it for a while. And that's fine too, because you might think you're right. You might be. 
But also, <laughs> um, but also be open for the different perspective that it will give you on how things might work or how you might be doing things. Outstanding, guys. That was Thank absolutely you. beautiful. Justin and Christina. That was electrifying.